In this video, we'll talk about searching the bead library for products you need. So if I click on the bead library, I can search for a product. Let's try DB65, and there it is. So I can search by the product code. If I put in 065, which is where it's, as it's listed in some places, um, nothing comes up. And that's because you want to get rid of any zeros that come before the numbers. So search for DB65 and it comes up. As with when you're searching by the active style bead, all these products that show up in the bead library are gonna be according to your project settings. So I'm working here with Miyuki Delica size 11s. If I change the library to say Toho Ico 11s and update so it saves that, now when I go to the bead library, you can see Toho Aiko codes are given. So you can only search uh, and use one bead library at a time. Currently, you can't use multiple libraries in the same project. So we're back to Miyuki Delica Size 11 just for consistency. In addition to searching by the product code, you can also search for terms like, oops, transparent, and transparent beads come up. Notice two things. First, that the active style bead is disregarded. It's not taking this and showing me transparent beads that look like that. It's taking transparent beads as the, as the search term. Also notice that the order that it's displayed is in the, is the product code. So it goes up in number and as you probably know if you've been beating for a while um, the the product codes are not corresponding to the shades um, so you might need to search a little bit however you could do transparent blue and now all the transparent blue ones come up I could try rainbow red and and any beads that have rainbow and red in their name will come up. Um, I could try just simply red. Let's try red opaque. And then it comes up with those. So you can put multiple filters in to your search. Finally, one last way to search is by hex code. Now, you may not know this number. If you do, you can put it in, um, and it's a mix. It's a six-digit mix of letters and numbers, and that refers to a specific color. So if you have a hex code, you can look it up by hex code. So again, you can look up beads by product code. You can look up beads by search terms like red or opaque. You can look up beads with the hex code. And as far as we know, all the beads for all these different libraries, all the products, are in there and complete. If you come across a color that is not in the library, um, get in touch with us because it may be that uh, you're using a different search term to look it up, or maybe it's not in there and it's an, it's an oversight and um, that has happened on one or two occasions. So let us know, we'll put it in the library as soon as we can so you can use it.